website, uh, which is a blog, I'll have the outline of all the scriptures so you can go there and you can make any comments there or add your opinion there. Um, RobinGreenwood.net. But let me share this with you. Did you know that God's DNA is in you? The word says that God's seed remains in you. And do you know what is in a seed? In a seed is a copy of everything that created the seed. For example, in the, in the seed of a human being is a copy of their mother and the father and it's a copy of a human being. In a copy of a seed of a tree is a tree, more seeds, and the fruit that the tree uh, grows. So inside a seed, a seed has everything in it to become everything it was created to become. So you have God's DNA in you. That means everything about God is in you. God is good. You have that goodness in you. You have the Holy Spirit in you. You just got all that in you, which is really, which is really exciting. And it says that because you have God's seed in you, you cannot sin. And I believe what that's referring to is because you have God's seed in you and you accepted Jesus' um, sacrifice, blood sacrifice, for all our lifetime of sins. Now when God looks at you, he sees you through the blood of Jesus. And because you have God's seed in you and you're redeemed back to your original purpose and your original reason you were created to have authority and dominion on this earth, like God through speaking words, you're not going to sin. You're not going to want to sin. It's because you have God's nature in you. And anyway, I thought that was really neat. The scripture that says that you have God's seed in you. And um, just studying, just if you want to do more study on it, just study what about seeds. It just It's so awesome. You know, words are seeds and they have the power in them to produce what the words say. 